Whew. Literally just running to my truck. Heading to heading. I'm heading home right now, real quick, to grab my board, and then I am in the water. Kind of an interesting day at work today. Did some weird stuff. Kind of the fun stuff that makes Whole Foods unique. And. Always happy to do all the weird stuff, fundraising stuff and all that. And now I am heading home. It's kind of snowing, random snow showers around the area. A lot of the major peaks around here are covered in clouds and Otherwise, it's kind of warm. I mean, it's 48 degrees, but with the with the wind chill, it feels like 39 or something. It feels really cold today for some reason. Um, that all will that all will change when I get in the water, because the water is probably 37 degrees or so. So once I get acclimated to that, I'll be in my board shorts in no time. Trying to take take deep breaths. I'm just a little, a little stressed. I'm trying to relax on my drive over. John's there already. He just texted me. I am crammed in this car. Got my board, all my clothes. I even I threw the baby seat up front <clears throat> to make room for the board. Didn't feel like bringing it in the house. Got my water in between my legs. My shoes are on the dash. And then all my gear is on the seat next to me too. Camera equipment. Uh, wetsuit booties and gloves, all that jazz. Okay, going through the weird maze of construction. get much video if anything of that sash but <clears throat> that was gnarly freezing it's literally snowing right now and I am freezing uh, it was a really sketchy situation I was uh, on the wave and then I got pushed back and tried to swim to the right eddy to like where John was and I wasn't fast enough and 
I got carried down river and couldn't like stop obviously I sort of panicked a little bit <clears throat> and then suddenly I could feel rock underneath my feet so I kind of tried to s start to stand up or something I think it's hard to say when you're in a moment like that but I kind of tried to get up and I uh, smacked my left knee really hard on a rock that was really shallow and uh, yeah I don't know hurt my knee and it freaked me out and uh, I wouldn't like I just sat on the rocks collecting myself for quite a while probably half an hour just sitting there on the eddy so like on that not even to where I could just get back on sh you know back to my stuff or anything I was on the other side of the river so so the only way out of the river was to go back on the wave <laughs> which I eventually did and I went in a couple more times and kind of calmed my nerves and like left there feeling better. So that was nice. You always want to leave the water feeling better than when you got in. <laughs> That's way off. Dead always sometimes? Yeah. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, let's turn on the heat. Turn another heat on. So, Beecher, I got two real big dogs. Wow, that's really a big dog. Red one? Alright, so, crazy day today, super busy, um, left work kind of stressed out, and had like a specific time frame that I could surf for, so I was just kind of like stressing. I definitely prefer skating down there or walking, because that was kind of too much. But I'm starting to get a gear list down, like I'm starting to figure out exactly what I want to bring with me down there. Things that make me feel more comfortable really so um like this down is perfect so basically um you know some kind of a flannel underneath and this to warm up after i get out and then i keep forgetting to bring regular gloves um for when i get out and i take my wetsuit gloves off my hands with the wind are just freezing so i, I keep forgetting to get those and next time i'm for sure gonna remember it's a learning experience every time. I don't think I got any shots of anything. I have to check. Uh, I used my little Minolta camera. <sighs> and that thing, it's horrible quality, but it's better than nothing as far as like surfing goes. So I set it up, battery was dying. So I was like, whatever. And then I possibly got a couple shots. Um, I haven't even looked at the tape yet, so we'll see. If there was any shots, they're going to be in this video, obviously, so you would have already seen them. Um, let's see. The wave itself was really good, again, just like it was yesterday. Um, this day, Today I actually got to surf it. The water temp, almost freezing, if not freezing. It was, it was really cold to the point where I don't even know. It might have been the coldest session I've ever had. Um... It had to have been in the low 30s after like getting s sucked under the first wave and having the water rush through my wetsuit I was like Rrr. so that was rough but um, 
I ended up hitting my knee really hard on a rock. So we'll see how that pans out. Right now it feels okay, but it's probably gonna leave a mark. It'll be bruised and bruised. And then I was just putting Noah to bed and I tripped on one of his like hanging racks for like his toy pans and pots and I just busted my toe open pretty much, so. Having kind of an interesting body day, I guess. And uh, yeah, the wave was super good, super steep. Could not, I could barely catch it. I didn't really even get into the pocket until the last wave, maybe my sixth or seventh wave, <clears throat> or try. I went into it and I was stuck in the pocket and it was sick. And then it didn't last long before the, it started to kind of, because the way the wave works is it kind of has a circular motion to it. Like it'll stall and then it'll pull you back this way. And when it started to pull me back, I could have, if I wanted to, like really paddle hard again and get back in or just lean real hard back. But I was so tired and cold at that point that I just kind of let it suck me out. So, But it was nice to have that experience of feeling the wave and like really enjoying it before getting out of the water for the day. Like if I would have gotten out after getting sucked down river and like getting my knees all banged up, I don't know. Something that I'm always conscious of is like leaving the water in a better mental state than when you got in. And I think I did that today. So in that way, today was a success. Sorry, um, vlog wise that we don't have much footage to go off of. You're just kind of going off my words today. Um, so yeah, my goal is to get more out of the vlog with video and stuff. Like I want you guys to be able to see what's going on. Uh, today was kind of one of those days where I was just running around so fast that like I didn't really have time to film so forgive me on that and Dietra and I are planning our trip to Capitola right now actually she's booking it right now so we're camping in Capitola the trip that we got canceled you can see my previous video on why our trip got canceled um, the weather's finally holding up for this week. We're randomly deciding to go just on my two days off at work. And we're just going to head down to Capitola, which is near Santa Cruz. Campsite's right on the beach. And just family relaxation time. Get the heck out of Dodge. Um, and really just reset and like get some... It's going to be 70 degrees, sunny. It's going to be beautiful. Waves are probably going to be legit. Dietrich's probably going to go out. We're bringing the soft top. We're bringing the sh short board. We're bringing the long board. We're bringing the... What else do I have? We're bringing the skateboard. We're bringing the hand plane. We're gonna go body surfing. Yeah! Sick! Okay, I'm a little hyper and kind of out of it, but I'll see you tomorrow.